Hello friends, this is Dr. V. Sivanagarazu, Associate Professor from IRE. Today we are going to discuss angle modulation. In my previous videos, we discussed about amplitude modulation. In amplitude modulation, we discussed different varieties, that is BS, BSC, SSB and VSB. Now we are going to discuss about angle modulation. So angle modulation is a process in which the angle of carrier wave is varied in accordance with the message signal. So in this method of modulation, the amplitude of the carrier wave is maintained constant. So, generally, you know that uh, modulation definition. So, the modulation is the process in which some of the characteristics of the carrier wave is varied in accordance with the message signal. So, here that one of the characteristics is uh, either frequency or phase can be varied. So, that we can call as angle modulation. So frequency is varied, you can call it as frequency modulation, simply FM. If phase is varied, simply we can call it as PM. Why in this angle modulation, these are the two varieties, FM and PM. So this is frequency modulation and phase modulation. So these are the two types of uh, angle modulation. One is phase, other one is the fragments. So if we hear if which the characteristic is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the message signal, we can call as that name. If phase is varied, we can call as phase modulation. If frequency is varied, we can call as frequency modulation. Now let the modulated wave may be expressed in a general form as S of T which is equal to AC into cos of theta T. So S of T generally represented for modulated signal. Theta of T is the angular argument which is varied in proportion with the message signal M of T. So now the phase modulation. Phase modulation is defined as the form of angle modulation in which the angular argument theta of t is varied linearly with the message signal m of t as shown by theta of t which is equal to 2 pi f c t plus k p m of t. Therefore, the phase modulated wave S of t is given by S of t which is equal to AC into cos of theta of t. So here we can substitute that to theta of t, angular argument, cos of angular argument. So in the above expression, we given that angular argument. So here we are going to substitute that angular argument. So finally, our modulated wave S of t which is equal to AC into cos of 2 pi FCT plus Kp M of t. Now what are the features of this phase modulation? The envelope of PM wave is constant and equal to the amplitude of unmodulated carrier. And another feature of this phase modulation is the zero crossings of PM wave no longer have a perfect regularity in their spacing like AM wave. And this is because instantaneous frequency of 
PM wave is proportional to time derivative of m of t. So this is the picture for the phase modulated signal. In the above, we are having the carrier signal. So generally the carrier is a high frequency signal and the modulating signal which is a low frequency signal. So that's why it's called as baseband signal. So in the below one, the resultant modulated signal of the phase modulated signal. And now the frequency modulation. Frequency modulation is a form of angular modulation, angle modulation in which the instantaneous frequency fi of t is varied linearly with the message signal m of t as shown by fi of t which is equal to fc plus kf m of t. Here in phase modulation and frequency modulation we having that uh, the constant kf in frequency whereas in phase modulation called as kb it's just like an amplitude sensitivity of that modulator so it is treated as a constant and where fc is the frequency of unmodulated carrier so this is the picture of this uh, fm modulated signal so here also having carrier signal and below the carrier signal having modulating signal and finally the resultant signal is a modulated signal that is a fm frequency modulated signal so these are the basic concepts of angle modulation in the next studio we will discuss about to fm frequency modulation okay thank you and uh, here having uh, the relation uh, between uh, pm and uh, fm and before this slide we discussed about uh, what is fm and what is uh, pm now the relation between the pm phase modulation and the frequency modulation so the change in phase changes the frequency of the modulated wave the frequency of the wave also changes phase of the wave though they are related the relationship is not linear that means these two modulations are related but the relationship is not linear so phase modulation is an indirect method of producing fm so here given the block diagrams of that uh, uh, frequency modulator and uh, phase modulator in the above one, first one is the frequency modulator. So in the frequency modulator, the first block is given as an integrator. The message signal is given. So the output of the integrator is uh, integration of the message signal. And then applied to the phase modulator, we generated the frequency signal, frequency modulated signal. Whereas in phase modulator, we are going to differentiate that message signal. So the output of the differentiator is uh, derivative of the message signal and this derivative of message signal which is going to apply to the frequency modulator and the output of the FM is phase modulated signal. So this is the relation between frequency modulation and phase modulation. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.